Marondete addressed a stakeholders' consultations and oversight workshop organized by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Constitutional and Legal Affairs at Swakopmund. Marondete also told the workshop that the PG's office has no website, no personal assistance, public relations officer or research assistance. Advocates were sent out to prosecute cases in the district courts of money laundering and related financial crimes. But when this is done, it means the gap, there will be a gap in the high court. We all know that uh, the judges have research assistance. We handle serious cases. We go to the Supreme Court. We have to do the research ourselves. And we have to go and pre uh, present our cases ourselves. Prosecutors are even cleaning their own offices. They are cleaners. Mm. Everything you do is done. Mm. They are cleaning their offices. They are typing their way. <coughs> Therefore, the situation is it's, it's very, really tense. That's why I gave it to my colleague to present because I just feel like crying. Because I said, why the system hates the PG's office? It has been created in 1990, but up to now, we are working in that horrible conditions. The ombudsman, Basilius Diakuga, suggested for the appointment of retired prosecutors to fill the shortage. Probably just use your powers to look into the retired prosecutors so that you can actually use them in, uh, in certain situations that can also uh, assist you because they are just retired in terms of age numbers but not in terms of their knowledge of doing the, doing the work. A prosecution in a a given country uh, is the mirror of efficient and adequate uh, delivery of justice and law enforcement. But if we have so much challenges in the system itself, why are we taking so much time to rectify it? In terms of access to information, especially using in this age um, the internet, having a well-functioning website, because regardless of, of, of whether the resources are there, I do believe um, generally we must take a stance to, to have online platforms where people can access information. Let's see what we can do to these officers who are crying out to us. And if we want access to justice in this country, it's part of the access to justice institutions.